The Romanian Dacia Logan was conceived by marketers of the Renault-Nissan alliance as a budget small car, which, thanks to its affordable price, should capture the market for inexpensive cars. The savings in the manufacture of the new model consisted of using only computer modeling methods, virtual tests. The use of inexpensive finishing materials, simple in form, and therefore in production, interior parts, body panels, glass, lights, and the widespread introduction of components and assemblies unified with Renault models. It was planned that the starting price of the base Logan would be 5,000 euros. Initially, the car was aimed at Eastern Europe, Latin America, Mexico, and Iran, but later this small car also attracted the interest of Western European motorists who knew how to count money. For years after the start of production, Logan underwent a major modernization. Until this time, about 800,000 pre-restyling cars had already been sold in the world. These are the ones we will talk about today. Logan is available in two versions, a four-door sedan and a roomy MCV station wagon with a wheelbase increased by 270mm and an overall length increased by 180mm. Two MCV variants are offered, in five- and seven-seater versions, two additional seats are installed in the trunk. The bodies of this model are well protected from corrosion. However, copies of the first years of production have one weak point, the weld seam connecting the rear arches. Due to a technological miscalculation, the absence or lack of sealant, water and dirt entered the trunk through the seam. Later, the manufacturer eliminated this childhood disease. However, when purchasing the oldest Logans, it is recommended to check the condition of the arches and trunk. The Logan's interior is simple and quite consistent with the budget image of the model. The finishing plastic is hard, but not creaky. At first, when using it, the unusual shape of the door handles, made in the form of tides on the door cards, confuses you, but then you get used to them. The seats do not have much lateral support, and many drivers complain that they get tired on long trips. Sound insulation is rather weak. The undeniable advantage of the Logan's interior is that it is one of the most spacious, not only compared to classmates, but also to some older C-Class models. Thanks to the large wheelbase of the sedan, not to mention the station wagon, even tall people will have enough headroom and legroom in the gallery, and its width will allow three passengers of average build to comfortably fit in the rear. There is plenty of room for tall people in the front seats. This car has one of the most voluminous trunks, 510 liters. In this parameter, Logan is superior not only to its classmates, but also to some CD and even E-Class models. For comparison, the BMW 5 E39 has only 460 horsepower. Engines for Logan are borrowed from Renault Clio 2. The range of power units offered for the Romanian model includes five engines, but on the domestic market the car is sold with three very simple engines, two petrol, eight-cylinder engines with a volume of 1.4 and 1.6 liters and one turbo diesel 1.5 liter, 70 horsepower. With the last unit is the least common, but according to reviews from a few owners, it is very high torque and economical. When driving quietly, it consumes fuel even less than stated in the technical specifications, about 5.5 liters in the city. When using high quality diesel fuel, there are no problems with turbo diesel engines. Gasoline engines have been tested by time, and all existing shortcomings have already been eliminated. The only characteristic problem is the loss of tightness of the front crankshaft oil seal. The reason is a poor quality oil pump drive gear installed on the crankshaft, the oil seal is damaged due to burrs, which leads to oil leaks. It is better to replace such a part, although you can try to carefully remove the manufacturing defect. A similar malfunction is more common on a 1.4 liter engine. No other problems were noted with Logan engines. The timing belt on them is driven by a belt, which must be changed along with the tensioner and bypass rollers every 60,000 kilometers. In this case, it is imperative to check the condition of the water pump, it is driven by the same belt. It happened that the pump served for two periods of the timing belt, and in some cases it had to be changed at 60,000 km. All Logans are front-wheel drive and only come with a five-speed manual transmission. Moreover, unlike other models whose characteristic drawback is the lack of tightness of the rocker seal, the mechanics of the Romanian model do not suffer from this. This manual transmission has another feature, increased operating noise. According to the company service mechanics, this is not a malfunction, but a technical feature of the operation of this unit. In addition, the mechanics are unpretentious and do not require special maintenance, the lubricant in it is not changed, but topped up as needed. 
In sedans the clutch is equipped with a mechanical drive, and in station wagons it is hydraulically driven. Both types of clutch are reliable and have no characteristic disadvantages. The Logan brake system is a fairly simple classic, non-ventilated disc brakes are installed in front, drum brakes in the rear. The brake force distribution regulator is configured in such a way that it does not allow the brake system to be diagnosed on an empty car, the drummers do not have enough without loading. Some owners reconfigured the regulator to increase the efficiency of the rear brakes. The suspension is long travel and allows for noticeable body roll during active driving, but still less than that of some competitors. Narrow high-profile tires hold the road rather weakly in turns, so to improve stability they are replaced with wider and low-profile ones. The front suspension is independent McPherson type, the rear suspension is semi-independent with a torsion beam. On our roads the chassis has proven itself to be reliable. Front control arms supplied with ball and silent blocks. Are able to last about 60 hours. Kilometer. Moreover, the branded lever assembly is not that expensive for a budget model. The rear beam is generally considered indestructible, the mechanics could not recall cases of replacing its silent blocks. The steering of the basic versions is mechanical, while the more expensive ones have power steering. The mechanical rack is less informative. Although, in principle, both types of steering are reliable. Dacia Logan is a car that successfully combines price and quality. This model is worth the money it is sold for. As shown by domestic operating experience. Logan is quite reliable. All donor components and assemblies have been modified, and on the Romanian model they no longer create problems. We recommend the car to those who are looking for an inexpensive and easy-to-use vehicle.